Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'll be adding font size, increase, decrease buttons to my gallery in Power Apps. So if you enjoy Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, Teams, and SharePoint videos, feel free to subscribe because we're putting out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. So I want to add font size, increase, decrease buttons to my Power App. So if I Click on my power app, go into this. Uh, all these fonts are size 13 right now for the gallery items. I just want to add buns up here that will increase or decrease the font sizes. All right, so in my power app, I want to go ahead and add an icon for decreasing the size of the font. So let's go ahead and search for the zoom out. Let's go ahead and add zoom out over here and let me add a zoom in. All right, so let me make both of these a little bit smaller. And I will change the, the color to white. Okay, so now we have the two buttons up here. If I click on them right now, nothing's going to happen because they're both on select or set to false. Let me go ahead and click on the plus one. So it's going to be the increase. So let's go ahead and write the formula. So set, let me zoom in, our font. And we're just going to do var font plus one. And close it. So let's go ahead and copy this. Now let's go to the subtract one. And switch this to minus. So it's basically just like a tracker plus one minus one. And we're going to go ahead and click on all of the components in my gallery. So let's text input first name, last name, job title, skill, and select a date. Now you see the size is set to 13 for these. I want to add the, the variable we just made, which is var font. So if I go ahead and click on these now, it's going to increase the font plus one. So plus two now, plus three since I clicked on it three times. Now I'm going to subtract one, two, three. So it's back to 13. So that's how you increase and decrease the font sizes. So a user can go all the way down to zero or all the way up to like 25 and so let's go ahead and put a cap on that so users can't go outside of the range so let's go ahead and just insert another uh, icon it doesn't really matter just so i can set the counter back to zero so set bar font to zero close it so now when i click on this it's going to switch that back to 13 and let's go ahead to the plus icon. So let's say I only want them to go up to like uh, 18. So since these are set to 13 right now, we need to cap it at 18. So it can't go any higher than 18. I will go ahead and uh, just comment this out for now, just in case I can reference it later. Uh, it's a nice little trick I like to do is just comment out code. Let's go ahead and write an if statement. So if let's say var font equal to five. So if it's at five, it's going to be at 18 font because the, def the default font's at 13 right now. So they used to click on this five times to make it 18. So if it's five, we don't want this to go any higher. So we're just going to set that to var font. But if it's not five, we want to set this to var font plus one. So let's go ahead and copy this for the subtraction one. I'm just going to go ahead and comment out this code. So let's go ahead and paste that statement. So if it's equal to, so this is negative. So if it's equal to negative five, we just want to set the far, far font. If it's not, we want to subtract one. So if it goes all the way up to five, it's going to keep subtracting until it gets to negative five. And the default font right now is 13. So the lowest it can go is eight. Let's go ahead and test this. And I will actually put a counter at the top. So let's put a label. And let me make this a little bit bigger. 20. And we'll change the color to white so it stands out a little bit. So let's do current font size. And let's just concatenate the string. So and space and the current font size, we want to do text input, first name, dot size plus 
var pot. And let's just increase this. This is 13. Let me put it in brackets. And just make this width a little bit bigger. All right, for current font size is 13. So let's go ahead and increase the font size. So one, it doesn't seem to work. Let's just go ahead and look at it. Okay, so it wasn't working and I had no idea why. But let's go ahead and I think I figured it out. Let's do the set. So we wanna set the var font to var font plus one. I think it wasn't working because I, I, I was just thinking of like, since I have a computer science background, I was just thinking like a different language, but I didn't. I didn't have the set. So let's go ahead and increase it. So now it's increasing. So that was the issue. It took me a few minutes to figure that one out. So it's at one. So 18, 17, 19. So it's increasing two. So I only wanted to increase one. So now it's capped out. So this is at 18 because the size is increasing. So I don't want the size. I don't want the var font included in this. I just want the regular size. So it's actually at 18, but my formula for the label was off. It should only be uh, just the size because it was in, it was taken in extra numbers. Let's go ahead and go to the subtract one and we'll, we'll just make this set var font, var font minus one. And let's just take a look at the formula again. I need to add another parenthesis. So var fonts at five right now, so I need to decrease it by 10. So 17, and let's look at the current font. This is at 17. I'm not sure why that isn't changing. So it's at 16 right now. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight. And I can't go any lower. So this is strange. It's not, this one's not changing now. Now it is. So it's eight. So maybe the font size label just doesn't change, which is strange. But uh, it is what it is. So it goes from eight to 18. So that is how you add font size increase and decrease buttons to your power app. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.